Hello everyone. How to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a minus 1 divided by 1 minus a is equals to 1. And we solve this problem for all the values of a. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And uh, here, uh, the reason of solving this problem for first method is that if in your exam, the question statement is that you need to find the values of A or you need to find the roots of this equation. So in that case, you need to do our first method but if in your exam the question statement is that you just directly determine the uh, solution of this problem and then uh, in that case you need to do our second method directly okay but both of these two methods are valid to solve this type of problems and now here uh, we move towards the solution of this problem and here first we move this 1 minus a to the right hand side and it will be written as in the left hand side we have a minus 1 is equals to 1 times of 1 minus a and further in the next step we have this is a minus 1 is equals to 1 multiply both of these two terms and we get here 1 minus a and further in the next step uh, you see here we need to find all the values of a so far this we move this minus a from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as here we have this is a when we move this value here it will becomes plus a is equals to this is minus 1 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 1 and here now we need to sum up these two values and you see here these are two same variable terms and here we need to add the coefficients of both of these two terms and we have a plus a becomes two times of a and here we have one plus one becomes two and further in the next step you see here we need to find the value of a and for this we remove these two from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by 2 and when we divide both of the sides by each of these terms by 2 it will be written as in this form these two and these two are cancelled out by each other and we get here our a is equals to these two and these two are also cancelled out by each other and we get a is equals to 1 so this is the final value of a which we get here from first method and uh, here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of a is satisfied our given question statement or not so for verification of this value of a we need to copy down given question statement here and it is a minus 1 divided by 1 minus a is equals to 1 and here uh, we need to just substitute the value of a into the left hand side and we check its behavior and we check that is uh, after substituting a is both of the sides are equal or not. So when you put it here it will becomes 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 is equals to 1 or not. And here you see that uh, this implies that 1 minus 1 becomes 0 divided by 1 minus 1 is also 0 is equals to 1. And now you see here in the left hand side we have this is the 0 by 0 form or in other words we just say that it is indeterminate form. Okay. So it means that our left hand side be the indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is undefined. So if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal. So if both of the sides are not equal we conclude about a equals to 1 that a is equals to 1 is not or be the extraneous root is the extraneous root of the given equation okay and here i can little bit explain about extraneous root 
the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root but here a equals to 1 is not satisfied our given question statement so that's why we call a equal to 1 be the extraneous root and you see here we cannot get any other value of a which is satisfied our given question statement so we call that this question has no solution because we cannot get any value of a which is satisfied our given question statements so this is the final conclusion of about solution of this problem from first method and now we again solve this problem for the second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is a minus 1 divided by 1 minus a is equals to 1 this is the our given question statement and here uh, our second method uh, in in second method we just directly get the solution of this problem so for directly uh, focus on solution we need to uh, take common negative sign from the numerator term then when we take common uh, negative sign from here we get the remaining values are 1 minus a divided by 1 minus a is equals to 1 and you see here this 1 minus a is cancelled out by this 1 minus a and we will get here minus 1 is equals to plus 1 so this shows that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal we just say that it is not possible case so if it is not possible this means that we cannot get any value of a which is satisfied our given question statement so if we can we get any value if we cannot get any value of a this means that this question has no solution okay because we cannot get any value of a which is satisfied our given question statement so this is the final conclusion about the solution of this problem and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos